think it started right in school days, you know, in the hockey to get into the team and swimming especially was very competitive when I was swimming. So I think it started as a very young youngster, always out to do your best. I think my mum and dad installed, if you're not going to do it, don't do it at all. If you're not going to do your best, why bother? I'd rather go out there and do your best. Yeah, my first marathon I was chosen by Western Province. It was just a development team, the second team or whatever to run. And I was very green. I didn't know what I was doing, so I should have said no, but I said yes. And the week before the I was in hill training on the Tuesday before the marathon. <laughs> And the night before I decided to use the bigger shoes and not the normal shoes. I do plan it, but I don't always stick to that plan. <laughs> I sit down and I decide, well that's what I'm capable of and that's the pace I must run at. The last Cape Town Marathon I have to keep telling myself, slow down, you're going too fast, slow down. And I had a good run. So, you know, and, and sometimes you think, maybe I could have gone that bit fast. Maybe I could have beaten those two in front of me, but I don't know, maybe I would have blown. Dave Spence always used to say the, the marathon only starts at 30 k. So if you're still feeling okay at 30, then you can start pushing even harder. But up to 30, you maintain what you planned and you try and stick to that plan and forget about who's in front of you. <laughs> if I'm tired, I know the thing I have to do is I've got to concentrate on my form because often when you're tired, you slump and that's the worst thing out. You've got to keep your head up to keep your stride going. You've got to think positive thoughts. They said if you think happy thoughts, you'll do better. And I think psychology plays a big part. You have to realize that your body is stronger than your mind, always. Your body is much stronger. They say that not the night before, two nights before, you must visualize your run, visualize running strongly, running well, enjoying the run. And so I try and remember positive thoughts. The negative can creep in very easily if you find aches and pains. I can remember running a, a half marathon in Bredarsdorp and I was coming second, running with the first lady and coming second thinking, I can't beat her, she's a senior. <laughs> and you know, that was the mindset and I looked at my watch and I, oh, this is a Western Province record. And I went for it and I, I caught her within a second. So your, your body is far stronger than your mind. You've got to make sure your mind doesn't give in first. And that does, it happens often. I don't know about the whole science of it, but yeah, I don't always listen to the mind. No, I listen to the heart. Yeah, I do what I want to do, not what I should do. And I think a lot of runners are like that. The reason why I'm still running today is to do what I can do well. You know, I know I can do it well, I know I can achieve. And I think also a big thing is to show other people my age that you can still get out there and you can still run. That you don't have to give up because you're not a senior and you're not 40 and you're not 50. You can still do it. I'm Nancy Wool and I run with confidence.